Hello, I'm Matt. And I'm Tom. And this is the Park Bench. I'm staring directly into the sun and the winds from behind me. I I'm... own sunglasses. I'm quite uncomfortable right now. <laughs> but we've learnt you don't put the camera on the path because people. Because people. This time people can just come up behind us and mock us. We've done some filming today. Yes, we drove to Oxfordshire. Is it Oxfordshire? You drove to Oxfordshire. I was in the passenger seat tweeting. Yes, we went to Oxfordshire. I should point out, we uh, we were going to do a video with you just monologuing about getting pictures from space. Oh yeah, that didn't work. Yeah, we tried it again. <laughs> this happened. It's over there. Uh, so at some point there, the camera died. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that didn't work. Yeah. That, well, that didn't we'll work. have to wait for weather and stuff and being bothered. It'll yes. happen. But instead, sometime. big science! Big science! Yes. Very big science. Hopefully you've seen the video by now, the first of the two that we've done from Calm Centre for Fusion Ooh. Energy. Yeah. So, that is the home of JET, the Joint European Taurus. Good memory. The uh, research bed for fusion energy. Mm. So, you know, normal nuclear energy is you chuck in some radioactive stuff, it goes, ah, explodes into new bits and heats stuff up while it does it. Science! Whereas fusion, um, you, you, you get some stuff, let's say plasma, I think it's called. You, you get you get and big, it, big molecules. And then you heat them, 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 heat them. Yeah. Gunk. And they glue together and make even bigger ones. And then loads of energy should come out eventually. It's still... Because science. Bit, yeah, it's still a bit away. That is your basic introduction to fusion energy. <laughs> Very basic. It's what the sun does. Yes, a lot of. I found out a thing. The energy density of the sun okay. is about that of a pile of compost. It's not actually that energy dense, it's just massive. It's just ma okay. Yeah. Hmm. And the reason it's so hot is because of all the pressures when you get all that together, but actually taken as a whole, it's about equivalent to a massive pile of compost. Science. And the reason, we, the reason we got there is because you went on open day. Yes. <coughs> Matt will now cough. They do open days at the Cullum Centre for Fusion Energy. Uh, I spotted one a couple of years ago now and was signed up to go and couldn't go. Whereas this time uh, a friend of mine had a spare ticket, invited me along and they showed us round. They showed us the control room for the jet fusion reactor, they showed us round MAST, the um, British, I don't, I don't know what it stands for, but it is another um, toroidal-ish um, yep. fusion container, uh, plasma container, and they showed you doing the, plasma research. They showed you the, the practice thing that I stood in for my, my video. Yes, the, um, it's, they, the jet is made out of several, like a chocolate orange. Or, or, or a normal orange. Like an orange, Matt. <laughs> like an orange. You can tell I'm a fan of chocolate, not fruit, <laughs> can't you? Uh, segments. It's made out of segments. And I think it's made out of eight segments of science. And... Uh, <laughs> eight science! <laughs> <laughs> and they made a spare one just in case. Yeah. So There's a spare. And using that one spare segment, um, they have constructed a, a test rig around it. Um, and inside there, as inside the real one, there's uh, a, a science. Ooh, a, the science. The science. There's a the, boom the, arm. And yes, and that remote manipulation thing. Um, so you came back from that. I, so I, 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 I've been shown around. I, I particularly remember a very enthusiastic member of staff called Sarah, who was yes. very enthusiastic and yep. amazing at explaining things. Yep. I said to Tom, "We need to go there. There is science to be had." So I, I emailed them, and they said. Yeah, right. <laughs> Come in, have a recce. Uh, so we did, we actually, our original plan was to go in on just one day, go in, find a video, script it over lunch and film it. And then we got there. And they showed us so many things, because normally we turned yeah. up, we were allowed a few hours to, to sh see the things, film the things, yeah. do the things, then leave them in peace. Yeah. Whereas this time we said, oh, you might, might want to have a recce. They showed us this thing, they showed us that thing. Oh, you maybe you could do this, maybe you could do this. And, and then they casually, I mean, we, we knew we wanted to do the remote handling arm. Yeah. And because then they casually mentioned, on the assumption that video has gone out first, which probably will, then they just kind of casually mentioned the thing I'm going to talk about in the second video. I was just this, oh yeah, we do this thing. And I was, really? What? Oh! oh. Yeah. Well, that's really cool. That's a video. Go on. <laughs> <laughs> it's lovely because without that recce we would not have even known to do that. I don't think it's something they, they generally publicise. No, it's... But that's the good thing because I've... 
I, I learnt loads on the open day. Yeah. And they, they'd say, it's the usual things they'll tell everyone. It's the interesting stuff. Yeah. But we like the nitty gritty, yes. random little yeah. technical interesting things. Yeah. And oh. It's a secure site as well. It's oh, UK yes. Atomic Energy Authority. So you have to get signed in advance. They need full ID on entrance. It's, they've got those big uh, flippy uppy things in the road that if you drive the wrong way it yeah. your tyres they've, they've got well to be fair a lot of car parks have them that. that's not yeah. great security oh, but Tesco has them <laughs> <laughs> but they, they are they are holding down a secure site with nuclear material on it so we got to go in and film pretty much everything they just asked that we not film anything with like IP addresses or anything on there anything that you can yeah, use to sabotage that's, that's reasonable nuclear. but other than that we pretty much had full access to the, the crew there the people there which is Really a lot. So if you're watching this and you work there, thank you very much for your time. Yes. Really appreciate it. Yes, and if you're out there and thinking, oh, I, I have my, my company has something cool, do do get in touch. Like yeah. email. Yeah, I'll, let us I'll, know. I'll put the details down in the description how to, how to get in touch. What else? Is there anything else we need to talk about about big science? Because I think we, we ran pretty we ran around pretty much everything there. Oh you got to use the manipulator arm. Only slightly. When <laughs> when I went round the tour, so the um, to do any kind of repairs or work or installation inside the jet um, Taurus itself, because it's very, very, very slightly, slightly nuclear radiation. -y. And, and thanks to and beryllium and tritium inside. Well, the beryllium it. isn't the radioactive. Oh, beryllium. beryllium is just massively toxic. It, it's yeah. not good to be in there. No. Um, you can be. You can be, but, but it requires full protective equipment. Everything. Yeah. So why do that when you can send in a remote control handling arm? Like, I want to call it a robot, but it's not a robot because yeah. it doesn't do anything itself, you're it doing it. It looks, because I was stood in there with the camera pointed back at it. I don't know if this comes across uh, on video. It looks, and um, you anthropomorphize it. It's got a big eye, and it's got two little stubby arms, like a T-Rex, and a grabby thing. And your brain goes, that's a creature. <laughs> that's been designed for a movie, that's a creature. It's suddenly going to start either going for me, or doing the sort of wally, Thing. And <laughs> you look at it and it's got this personality it's got it's got a face it's got arms um you, and they showed yeah. they showed me this on the tour they yeah we, we didn't go anywhere near it but you could see the control room so uh, as you'll have seen in the video um there's a big army thing that a, a man or uh, a a, army an thing. <laughs> there's a thing that's got arms on it yes. which the operator can go inside and they can yeah. move it about and as they grab the hands and move the hand, the whole hand and arm of the other thing moves. It's, yeah. it's like if I was to do this. That's not... It, it would do the same to Tom, but Tom would actually be over there. Yeah. I'm not explaining this very well. But no, you're way, not. I think <laughs> they've seen the video. They know yeah. how it works. Yeah. But when, no, we, when, when, when I was there on the public tour, I said, can I have a go? And the guy that was showing us around that bit said, no, even I haven't had a go yet and I've been working here a year. That was a, a terrible high five. High five. <laughs> Let's try that again. Look at the elbow. He taught me that. Look at the elbow. We had to go. Yeah, we both got it. We both got to go on the manipulator arm, which I should point out was not. We we actually worried that they were breaching health and safety or something there. But no, the the guy who was with that who was there with us was trained up to train other people on it. Was giving us the very basic introduction they would give any trainee at the start of an evaluation to see if they were able to use it. So, because yeah. if you're going to be doing that for your job, you have to be trained how to use it. Yep, you, there has to be a first time for everyone. So that was that. We was had our first time. <laughs> we got to we got to use the grabby thing. And um, all we got to do was this: grab the yeah, grab the I'm, thing. I'm being the hand and do this. Yeah, but that was still. What amazed me is how fast that was. There wasn't yeah. no perceptible lag on that. As soon as you went like that. Oh God, I didn't even notice that. Yeah. Yeah, I was expecting there to be a, a kind of a delay in a servo, and I'd go like that, and it it would sort of be like. My hand, so my hand, Sobo hand, I was expecting to be like, move, but no, it was absolute, that's a bad mime. That's not a good <laughs> mime. That's, it but, was, it was instant. But as you're moving, it's moving. It's doing exactly the same as you are. The force feedback is uncanny. You grab something, and, oh, I can grab it. You touch the arms together. Oh, and, oh, you stop. Yeah. And you start pushing that way. And it, it starts in a locked off position. And yeah. then when they sort of, let's say, turn it on, I take the brakes off, I think this is the yeah. phrase they used. You feel the weight of it. So it's, it's like you're, say, holding your, your child's arms as you're mm. helping them do something. Or is it ghost? With the <laughs> I don't think I'd want to make a clay But I reckon with you that. could make a yes. clay bars with that. It is that precise. And they were saying they can lay cables in it that uh, I think it can be even sensitive to feel a bit of tape on a flat yeah. surface. It, yeah. It's, it, yeah. 
this was cool and I think, it was, I think it was a really good shoot. We talked to loads of great people. Everyone was really nice on camera. That was lovely. Thank you, Cullum. Thank you. Um, links are in the description. I presume because they have an outreach program, they will have another open day. We thoroughly recommend going. Absolutely. Uh, don't get your hopes up about the manipulator arm. Better high five. Ow! It's good for you, not for me. Manipulator arm. Manipulator arm. Manipulator arm. <laughs> Thank you, animal.